I'm Kevin Pang. I'm Jeffrey Pang. Today's episode of Hunger Pangs can be described in two words, Mongolian beef. Hit the music. We have breaking news for you. Mongolian beef is not from Mongolia. In fact, we never had this growing up in Hong Kong, right? Yes, of course, because that is American Chinese food. It's American Chinese food. And in fact, there's a lot of these dishes that are new to us. We never really had crab rangoon or chop suey growing up. But the thing is, we've learned to love and appreciate American Chinese food and Mongolian beef is one of our favorites. It's got everything that we love. We've got crispy beef, we've got the garlic and the ginger, and you love scallions. Yes. Yeah. Scallion. I love scallion more than the beef. You like scallion more than beef. Okay, so let's talk about what we have here. We've got four scallions. We're gonna cut this in two different ways. So the green part, we're gonna cut into one inch pieces, and the white part, we're gonna mince. We like these into be nice, big, pieces because it's going to wilt with the beef and we're gonna put that in two separate bowls. The green parts are gonna be in one bowl and then the white parts we're gonna mince. Beautiful mincing work. So we're gonna put that into a separate bowl. To the white parts of the scallion, we're gonna add some really fragrant aromatics. We have here one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. We also have four cloves of garlic. You also like garlic. Yeah. Okay? Always. We just need a lot of breath mints after we eat this particular dish. And finally, we've got Sichuan chili pods. If you can't find Sichuan chili pods, you can also use chili de arable. Or if you can't find chili de arable, you can use red pepper flakes as well. We've got four here. Now, I know because we're Chinese, you like it spicier? Yeah, you like spicy, you gotta add more. But let me tell you. Yes? This is not very hot. But after you deep fry it, they will be, become very hot. Okay, so if you deep fry it, it intensifies in flavor. But thankfully, because I always keep two extra <laughs> chili pods in my pocket, we're gonna go extra spicy here today. We're just going to Superman these, just like that. <laughs> there we go. May I also suggest wash your hands and don't rub your eyes or any other parts of your body because uh, you will be in for a rude surprise. All right, so we've got the onions and the aromatics done. Next, we're gonna tackle the sauce. So we have here a measuring cup. We've got soy sauce. This is six tablespoons of light soy sauce. Chinese light soy sauce does not mean low sodium soy sauce. So we're gonna add this into this measuring cup. We also have three quarter cups of water. And finally, we've got two thirds cup of packed brown sugar. This is gonna bring the sweetness to the saltiness and the savoriness of the sauce. So I'll just give this a good mix here. Gentle mix here, I think that looks good. Mix it more. Okay, all right, okay. All right, you gotta listen to what your dad says, I suppose. Perfect, the brown sugar is properly dissolved. We're gonna cook this down anyway, so really, it's going to turn into this nice, sweet, savory sauce. All right, we've got our dry aromatics, we've got our sauce, and now we're gonna work on the beef. Well, you can't have Mongolian beef without, obviously, the beef, and that's exactly what we have here today. We've got a pound and a half of flat meats. Now, the flat meat comes from the bottom sirloin. It's also where the flank steak comes from, so if you can't find flat meat, flank steak works just as well. It comes in this big sheet, so we've cut the meat with the grain, as you can see these running down the side here, this is with the grain. And we've cut this into three inch width and we put this in the freezer first. Why do we do that? It will be more easy to cut. So now we're gonna be cutting this uh, against the grain. So sort of on this side here. And do you have any special techniques when you're cutting the beef? So I'll show you. Okay, great, perfect. Okay. So you're cradling it with your fingers and you're you're not exactly cutting it down, but you're cutting it like diagonal on a yes. bias, right? Yes. yes. Wanna try? You want me to try? Okay, all right. Let's see if I can do this here. So I'm holding it, kind of cradling it like a claw against here. Yes. And I'm uh, just- a little bit angle. 
All right, just like that. So the beef is all sliced up. We've got this bowl here, and we're gonna transfer, I'm just gonna use my hands, all this beef into this large bowl. And we've got half a cup of cornstarch, and it's just gonna go right over this beef. And I'm gonna take some chopsticks, and we wanna coat the cornstarch so that it covers the beef. How would you do it? Use my fingers. Like, like just grab it? All right, show it. So you're saying don't be fussy about it, right? <laughs> okay. See, look at this. Oh yeah, all right. Perfect. All right, you see? Okay, great. <laughs> While this sits for a few minutes, we've got a couple other pieces of equipment as well. We've got a Dutch oven with three cups of oil. We've also got a wire rack with a rimmed baking sheet. Our trusty spider skimmer as always our tongs. So the oil is heating at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and you don't want to cook all of this at once, right? Yeah, we uh, in three batches. Three batches. You don't want the oil temperature to drop yeah, down too low. Too, okay, too, too perfect. Quickly. So this looks to be about 375, so yes. you want to do the honors and okay. uh, fry this? Go okay. ahead. We're not using a lot of oil here, only three cups of oil. Move the beef. Yeah, so you want to move it around so it doesn't stick together. Now, in our recipe, we call for it to be cooked for four minutes. If you want it crispier, four, a little bit more tender, about two, two and a half minutes. It's been about two and a half minutes. This looks to be the right doneness for us, so uh, let's put this on the wire rack. Go ahead. We're going to let the beef drain on our wire rack, and we're going to fry the other two batches. All right, the beef has been fried. We've got our trusty wok as always here. This is over medium high heat. And since we don't want to waste oil, we already have this big vat of oil. We're going to transfer a tablespoon of the frying oil into our wok. Now remember, we had two bowls earlier. We've got the green parts of the scallions. We've also got the white mince part of the scallions with the ginger, the garlic, and the chili pods. We're gonna dump this into the oil, and this shouldn't take long, right? No. About maybe 30, 45 seconds or yes, so? Yes. Okay, so this goes in here. Woo! Wow. I like it. You like it already. Oh, yes. You can handle this heat. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so the garlic looks to be browning. We've got our sauce here. We're gonna dump this into here. Ooh. Oh. Now remember, because it's got a lot of brown sugar, this is going to tighten and caramelize. We want this to be about a cup and a quarter. That's gonna take anywhere between six and eight minutes. This looks good. All right, this looks great. The sauce is tightening up already. Yes. We're looking for that glossy consistency here. And are we ready for the beef yes. and the scum? Time okay. to put the scan in and the beef. Okay, great. So if you wanna transfer some of this beef over, Here's the scallions. That goes into the sauce as well. Wow. So this should take an additional minute, but we're pretty much done. You want to toss it? Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to make a big mess here. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> we'll have uh, dry cleaning take care of this apron here. Okay, you do it so much more elegant than I can. This looks ready. I think it's time to eat. <laughs> yes. Special shout out to Ashley Moore, who came up with this recipe for Cook's Country. Hi, Ashley. All right, I think it's time for us to taste. Okay. I'm trying to find one without a lot of chili seeds in here, mm -hmm. but let's let's go for it. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. 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 That's spicy. Yes. <laughs> I know the recipe calls for four chilies. We went with six. Maybe go for four next time. You can handle the spiciness, right? Seven. Seven, okay, wow, show off. But this is great. It's sweet. It's got uh, really savory. You can really taste a lot of that garlic in there. The spice is coming through, but saucy too. It's great with the rice. Yeah, uh, I want more scallion. You want more scallion? Okay, I should taste some of the scallion here. So if Mongolian beef is not from Mongolia, where, where did the name come from? Some people say it's from Taiwan. Some people say it's from uh, Chinatown, America. Mm -hmm. But I was told this dish is invented by a Taiwanese. He's from Beijing. A 
Taiwanese from Beijing. Your sources are accurate. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Just the name. Just the name. Just the name. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure it's not from Mongolia. Okay. You can call it Kevin Beef if you want to. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what's your favorite beef dish? Is it Kevin Beef or some other dish? Let us know in the comments below. And for this recipe, go to americastestkitchen.com/pang. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you.